hard news on recent news to show some buzz that I saw. Drop a comment while you watch along. Subscribe and be through some of the videos and I guess he's made these message to Trump videos and I was so happy to be watching one of one of them and it was crazy I gotta I gotta if I can do a reaction to this I have to but don't forget like these like this video subscribe share holler comment down what you think and we're gonna get into it guys morning ladies and gentlemen and welcome to what video up? message number 29 Number this one goes out once again to all the presidential candidates and the politicians and the city council members and everybody of the United States as well as some of you American citizens. Just playing around you there can with learn tigers, just bro. as That's much crazy. from these videos as the politicians can. Let me start off by saying in no means during any of these videos am I threatening the United States government, law enforcement agencies or anybody just because I wear a firearm. I live in the state of Oklahoma and I have a permit to carry a firearm and That's right. on my own property. I work very good with the United States Department of Agriculture's inspectors. I have never had anything but a good time working with my inspector. The problem here is, is there's a dickhead out there in Ohio <laughs> called Tim Harrison. Tim Harris, you're a dickhead. Outreach for Animals Program, a nonprofit organization, okay? But he is the one that pushed this stupid ass law in Ohio to take all the people's animals away from you, alright? Brags to be an ex cop, a firefighter, a paramedic, and all that bullshit. And he's the one that started in that stupid ass movie called The Elephant in the Living Room. Now, if he knows anything about animals, you'd notice first thing is that you don't set out in the fucking woods with a noose pole trying to catch a mountain lion. <laughs> this is why what I had to show this guy. This is crazy. Walk up and put his head in a fucking noose? <laughs> but what he has done is he's conspired this little thing with the United States Department of Agriculture that I'm dangerous. I got banned from the Big Cat Symposium that they put on up there in Kansas City because I I'm so-called dangerous. I am far from dangerous for any kind of law enforcement agency. Yeah, how the dangerous is he? He's walking around with fucking tigers. I don't care about them TNR. Back up his promise. A first time Wayne Paselli or any of his fucking nuts, or Carol Baskin <laughs> or Peter, crawl this fence and try and hurt any of my animals again, you can guarantee God damn it, I'm going to put a cap in your ass the first time to make you squirm around on the ground, and then I'm going to put a bullet right between your fucking eyes. They burned me down once. You politicians and you governors oh, shit. He going and all these people make laws, he going they don't understand that these motherfuckers are crawling in the fences at night at facilities just like mine and poisoning the animals and burning shit down. March of 26, they crawled in our park while I was gone at a funeral overnight in Chicago and they blew up my alligator house in my recording studio and no killed shit. seven alligators and one crocodile and burned that shit to the ground. We got one of them dickheads on videotape, and to this day, nothing has been done to it. You know why? Because we had a federal agent stand right there in the office here a while back and tell us that they would not prosecute Peter because it's too fucking political. Now, we wow. got a problem here in this country. I believe when we that. We have somebody that's been declared a domestic terrorist that is too political to prosecute. When the hell is it right to crawl in somebody's place? Poisoning our animals, burn shit down, walk on sidewalks the in truth, California, bro. anywhere else in the country, and throwing red paint on people just because they choose to wear a fur coat. There is nothing free about this goddamn country anymore. It's all about who you pay and who you know. Right, let me move on to a senator by the name of John Thug. You know the worst thing you can do is lay in bed and an alarm clock goes off and the Today Show's playing and all you see is mayhem, murder, and bullshit. And when I'm talking about bullshit, I'm talking about the politicians and the shit that's crazy, going on guys, here in America. He's, he's doing now we're going to have right some senator named John Thune that's going to introduce some bill to make it illegal for a business to be able to sue somebody for putting a false review on Yelp or TripAdvisor. Let me give you a little education, mister. First of all, you people up there in Washington and the 
White House and the Senate and the Congress and everything else, you need to work four years and then you need to get out and get a real fucking job. So you know what's going on in the business world in America. Let me tell you something. I've been self-employed for over the last 35 years. And I'm out here in the real world and I know what's right or wrong or bullshit or you can scoop it with a scoop shovel. You know what, what the problem is with online trip advisor and Yelp and all that other bullshit? First thing is, is you fire an employee and what do they do? They get a vendetta against you. So they get on the internet and they post all this negative shit about your business online and you can't get it off of that. That's a true thing. The second thing, thing is, is you got people just like that rescue facility down there in Florida and the Global Federation of Animal Sanctuaries. It's all fucking jealous of what anybody else is doing. And this is all about getting donations shoved over to your facility if you can badmouth somebody else. So what do they do? They get all their employees, all their volunteers, and all the people that like them online to go over to your trip advisor and to see internet how this has to do with and Trump. start putting bad reviews on there that Jesus Christ, your animals are starving, your cages are dirty, the place looks like shit, the people are rude, and there ain't a goddamn thing you can do about it. What you need to do instead of introducing the law to protect them motherfuckers, you need to introduce the law to protect the people that are paying your fucking wages. All right, I'm going to put a special note out there to all of you American citizens that watch these movies. I'm not going to apologize for my language or anything else. This is just the way I talk Freedom to get speech, a point bro. across. You damn sure wouldn't get anywhere if I said, John Thune, would you please, sir, understand that we're putting messages out there that's hurting my business, or would it make more sense and get us a hell of a lot more attention if I say, look, motherfucker, you're stupid. You got all these people out there putting <laughs> Yo, negative shit on you, stupid. Line, don't you? and there ain't a goddamn thing we can do about it. Which one do you think he's going to listen to first? Which one do you think he's going to care about first? Because the loudest mouth gets the most attention. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. So if you don't like the way I talk, there's a delete button on social media. Please get your ass off my pages and make some room for the 5,000 people that are in line waiting to get on here. Fuck that right on, I bro. I up to this morning is Fuck off, you haters. celebrities picking on all the cops. Going to have some kind of a boycott in December saying that cops are murderers. Let me tell you something, people, and I don't care what celebrities watching this shit either. I used to be a police chief, and I got my thing out there in public figure pretty much, so we're not quite on the same page, but we're getting goddamn close. When you're on a dark road out in the country or on the interstate and you're by yourself and you pull a couple of people over and they start sticking their hands in their pockets, it starts worrying you, man, because it's just one against two or three out there. And you have no idea if you just pulled over somebody that murdered somebody, somebody that raped somebody, somebody that robbed somebody, or anything else. So I'll tell you what, the first thing you need to do, if you don't want all this bullshit going on with cops getting a little bit of trigger happy, and a little bit of defensive. Now, I'm going to admit some of these cops go a little bit overboard. The first cop that throws me on the ground and puts a knee in my back of my head and rubs my head in the concrete, you bet your ass I'm going to fight back. They can make you kneel and put your hands behind your back and treat you like a goddamn Speaking human like an American, bro. But I'll tell you something. You start getting some of these people to pull their fucking pants up and their ass not showing and walk around and treat people with respect and open some doors for some elderly people and start busting their ass in school like we used to when we were kids and you'd have a whole lot less trigger finger happy cops. Yes, Last we do. Thing yes, I got we to do. bitch about today is the freedom of speech and what's going on here in this country. It's absolutely pathetic. I can't say the N word, but you can get on YouTube and watch any black man's rap video and they're calling each other the n-word what the hell is this discrimination i'm white i can't say the n-word and they can't and then we got the united states department of agriculture refusing to issue people's licenses White because they live in a words. city that the city's called gay georgia the hell is this they declared the word gay to be offensive let me tell you something I'm as gay as a three dollar bill. I'm standing I'm in a gay cage three with five bills. room tigers and lions. And I'll goddamn guarantee you I'm a hell of a lot butcher than any of you straight politicians that are getting blowjobs in the back office. The good Ooh. thing about all this is <laughs> oh, you, shit. Oh, shit. I can just go to a book Jokes store and out it out. get it for free. She don't think anybody's got anything dirty to talk about me. I put it all out there on the line. Everybody knows everything about my private life, anything that's went on in my life, or anything else. 
So I'll tell you what, I've seen a lot of people on the internet say, Joe, I'm going to write you in for president if we don't get a 30-minute sit-down. I'll tell you people something. I don't know shit about politics, and if, if you want to write me in as president, I'll guarantee God that the first that thing I'm going to do when I get in that Oval Office is, you know that pen that they sign all them bills with? That motherfucker's going in the trash. I'm <laughs> throwing that pen in the trash. I don't give a fuck. For the next four years until re-election again. And that's what needs to happen in this country. Why the hell do we need to introduce 3,000 bills every state, every year, and then go up to Congress and introduce over 3,000 more? So once again, if you don't like the way I talk, don't watch my videos. But let me tell you I something. I think it's very interesting. I shoot from the hip. I tell it straight. And this is about saving your rights, not just mine. I got my rights under control right here in Oklahoma. You see how I talk. You see how I walk. And you see how I run a business. So once again... If you're too lazy to hit that share button and spread this around it, let's stand up oh, don't and take our rights back. I got you. Please, get off of my social media and make some room for the thousands of people waiting to get on. Oh, Joe. All right, so all of you politicians running for president this Oh, I term, thought it was over. I've been asking you six questions for the last 28 days. and They mean a lot to us, just like some of this stupid shit means to you. Unfortunately, we ain't got somebody sticking money in our pocket up our ass in order to get your attention. The only thing we're going to do is we're going to have a loud mouth, we're going to cuss a little bit, and we're going to get heard. One America. way or the other. We want 30 minutes to sit down with the first candidate that really cares about what's going on in this country. And these are the six questions. Here in America, we have a war in the animal world and the animal rights people in order to take our rights away. And 62.8 million people here in America own pets. And we'd like to know your comments and your concerns about a few issues. Question number one. How do you feel about 501c3 organizations here in America Never that are scamming it. the public for hundreds of millions of dollars to take care of animals and none of it goes to the animals? 90% of it goes to lobbyists to pass laws to further their agenda. Two, it seems like terrorist is the number one topic anytime you turn the news on anymore. Are you aware that our own government, the United States Department of Agriculture, declared PETA a number one domestic terrorist in the United States on November the 30th, 2009, and they're still a nonprofit tax organization here in America? That's How messed can up. you be a terrorist and get a tax break from your own country right here in America? Three, That's, we'd like to know, know your opinion on crazy. how you feel on online Give bullying, not only of children, but adults, in the name of free speech in order to bash somebody and ruin their reputation and their good name, only to make money for yourself and get away with it under the Declaration of Free Speech. Four, we'd like to know how come us Americans that own our own property, own our own houses, and pay taxes on them do not have the right to have our own pets that we choose to have on our property or in our homes. Number five, do you not think that we Americans have the right to assume the we risk of our profession? No different a than a cop, a firefighter, an oil rig worker, or know. anyone else that has the assumption of the risk of their professions? It is our right. And please, if you become president, give us back our right. And number six, one of the most important, and this kind of touched on your speech at the Oklahoma State Fair about things being made in other countries and taxing them when they come into America. Do you not believe that it should be a right that any product made from the rainforest or an animal's habitat somewhere in, a, in the world should be taxed in order to be sold in America and that tax money go back to helping rebuild the habitat and the rainforest so some of these animals don't become extinct in the futures to come? All right, ladies and gentlemen, well, those were the six questions. Well, that Make was sure very hit interesting. Hit the share button and so. spread this around. And ladies and gentlemen, this is the video message number 29. This is message Tomorrow number 29, we hit guys. That big 30 number. I've been at this I exactly a month, and I've got I'm over 370 you something days enough. to go. That's and crazy. you can bet your ass I'm going to finish this, and I'm going to come up with a new problem that makes sense oh, yeah? to try and get it to understand a little bit in your head. All right, well, good luck. If we Americans don't stick together and we stand up and we let these politicians keep shoving us around and changing laws that's going to affect our lives, okay. you just as well move.